Welcome to the spoken tutorial on set and reset coils. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of set only coil and reset only coil. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open TLC mainboard, 24 volt 2 ampere SMTS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of normal contact and normal coil. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Let us open LD Micro. First, we will learn about working of a set only coil. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as on. Double click on the coil. In the type column, select set only option. Rename the coil as LED. Click the OK button. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Observe the state of the contacts and coils in the IO list. Initially, the state of exon and Y LED are 0. Change the state of exon to 1. The state of Y LED should change to 1. Change the state of exon again to 0. We can observe the state of Y LED is still 1, that is, set only coil sets its state to 1 when it identifies the 0 to 1 transition. 1 to 0 transition has no impact on it. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on hot simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR 8 Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC0 to Exxon and PA0 to Y LED. Compile the logic as set only coil dot hex. Then save the ladder diagram as set only coil dot LD. Now we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board. 
After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. The red LED starts glowing when the NO1 is pressed. It will be still glowing even after the switch is released. Recall, this was not the case with normal coil, which we learnt earlier. That is, once the LED is set, it will remain set irrespective of the input state. Turn off the power supply. Remove the connections made for this example. There are three ways to turn off the LED, which is set. First one is turning off the power supply. Second is to reset the program in the microcontroller using the reset button. And the third is with the help of a reset only coil. Now, we will see how the third option works. Switch back to LD Micro. Instead of creating a new file, we will make changes in the previous file itself. Insert a rung below. Add a contact and a coil in the newly added rung as shown. Rename the contact as OFF. Double click on the newly added coil. In the type column, select Reset only coil option. Then rename it as LED. Click the OK button. Observe in the IO list that both of the coils represent the same coil. We will now check the working of this logic. Start real time simulation as shown. Observe the state of the contacts and coils in the I.O. list. Initially, the state of X on, X off and Y LED are 0. Change the state of the contact X on to 1. We can observe the state of Y LED is now set to 1. Change the state of X on back to 0. Now, change the state of X off to 1. We can observe the state of Y LED changes to 0. Change the state of X off back to 0. It doesn't have any effect on the state of Y LED. So, we can conclude that reset only coil resets to 0 upon 0 to 1 transition. 1 to 0 transition doesn't have any effect on it. Turn off the simulation mode. Let us now compile the logic. We can see that the microcontroller and its parameters are already set. Assign pin PC1 to XOFF as shown. Compile the logic as reset only coil.hex using the compile as option. Then Save the ladder diagram as reset only coil.ld using the save as option. Now we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Switch back to the terminal. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Make the connections as in the set only coil example. Additionally, connect pin PC1 to NO2 of the switchboard. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. The red LED starts glowing when the NO1 is pressed. To turn off the LED, we have to press the switch NO2. This shows that set only and reset only coils comes in pairs. 
turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about working of set only coil and reset only coil. As an assignment, implement reset dominant SR flip flop. Refer to the given truth table. That is, if both the set and reset conditions are 1, the output should be reset. Here, memory means output of the previous PLC scan cycle is retained. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team, signing off. Thanks for watching.